Hello everyone, I'm Adam from Soil Life and today we're talking about building garden beds on a budget with Rachel from Life a Little Greener. <laughs> hey guys, what you can see here is that we're doing some bed prep and I have not spent a cent on any of these items yet and yet we've created almost 50 metres of veggie garden. So what we're going to run through today is number one, how we made the beds and then how we're going to fill them. So looking at the ground, you can see that we're standing on a formed bed and it's actually just straight on top of the lawn. What we've done, instead of digging up the lawn, is we've actually just laid cardboard straight down on the lawn. Yep. And that way, what it's gonna do is increase that biomass back into the soil, but it's also gonna maintain that soil biology within the space. What are we gonna be putting down on top of our cardboard now? So we've got a selection of things. These are all items that I've sourced from within the property. Mm -hmm. So we've run the garden edging with logs that we've found around the place. So this is a foam bark, and yeah. we've also got some camphor, camphor. logs. Yeah. And we were also running some rocks through as well. So these act as a slow release fertilizer. Yep. So then that way it can help feed the microbiome. It can also hold the soil in place that we're gonna build. Fantastic. Um, and it also looks really beautiful. Like it kind of steps into that natural aesthetic. So then what we've done is I've added some coffee grinds from the beautiful cafe that we've got locally. I've added some comfrey, which I grow on my own property. So I did bring that in, but again, it was free. Um, some sticks and some twigs. Mm. And then we're gonna work with, I've got all of these are from the space. So we've got some leaf litter. Looks like mango leaves. It is mango leaves. So we've got yep. some mango leaf litter that's been sitting that on out. the ground. Because this ground is so compact and I didn't want to till it, we're gonna build up rather than building down. And so it's gonna be a bit of a process. It's not gonna happen overnight, but we're gonna keep going. We'll top this, we'll make this bed, mm. and then the next season we'll top it up again and it'll come back up. So it's gonna be a continual cycle of, of adding inputs of compots, which we're gonna make on site. Now, now we've got, got here? banana leaves. Okay. So these are another great um, source of carbon. If you've got these on site, now you might not have bananas on site. You may have um, some other trees that you need to prune. So you can prune those, leave them in a pile. You can capture all of that leaf litter and then you can use that to fill your garden beds. Depending on the depth as well, you can also just add the whole branch. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not working with a big depth, I'm not adding a lot of logs and things like I usually would, yeah. but we're still getting that fertility and that um, biodiversity right. by adding lots of different carbon sources. Yeah. So this is a locally sourced fermented hay. And so um, I'm just gonna add this as another brown source, but it's hay is, it has a really great protein content and it's gonna feed the protozoa. And the protozoa are a food source for worms. So what we're doing again is feeding the fungi, feeding the bacteria, feeding the protozoa. So we're feeding all of those members of the soil microbiome and building a really healthy soil structure. Fantastic. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah, I think yeah. so. We'll use that as mulch. Um, this is a, I stole this from the fire, so this is some pot ash, or some like fire ash, and some carbon. And so we can use, if you've got the finances and you wanted to incorporate it, you can add biochar. Biochar, yep. But it can be quite expensive. It right? is, and you can try and make it, but it's challenging. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think this is a fantastic option. Yeah, we're going to water it in. What we're trying to do is wet the space down as well. And some of the, we want to wet that cardboard underneath to start getting it to break down. Mm. And also with using soil life, we are inoculating the space and starting that. Microbiome. Yeah, yeah. inoculating the microbiome and starting that decomposition process and feeding all of the elements of the microbiome. What we're going to do now is we're going to top that up. When you're starting a veggie garden, probably the most expensive thing that you're going to buy is the compost that you're topping up with. And we wanna make sure that we're using a really nice high quality compost. If we're using a really subpar soil, we're gonna find that we're not getting the production or the yield that we're after. And so a really nice high quality compost means that we are starting off on the right foot. So we've run a really nice thick layer of mulch on top and then that's it. Wow, Rachel, thanks so much for um, showing us how to build a veggie patch. No worries, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, and it's, it's it's just wonderful to see that you're taking into account all of the things like starting from scratch, not having to worry about digging up your grass. You yeah. don't need to do that. To just having everyday things around that you can find in your you know local landscapes. Mm -hmm. To how to source you know good quality products as well. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this all goes. Actually. Me too. So everyone, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've learned something about building veggie beds, and I hope you get out there and do something this weekend and have fun doing it like we always do and we'll see you on the next video don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon